You shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Yes, and good morning. Trust you are keeping well today. We are sharing truth this day on power lift. Taking from Ephesians chapter 1, 19 to the end. Power lift. You are warmly, warmly welcome in this hammertown weather to the Really, Really Knowing God channel with me, Pastor Larry Adenekon. It's all packaged to inform and inspire you into getting to know the real God that we serve in a proper way. And it's uh, powered by the Pastor Larry Adenekon Center for Education, the place. <music> This is the Daily Gem Devotional, making you a gem to your generation and a gemstone in the crown of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you are tired of commonplace Christianity and now want the fine quality of it, this is the place to be. Okay, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we bless you, give you glory and praise. You are a true God. You are a true God. In every way you prove yourself a God that is lovely to belong to you. And that your word is more than silver and gold. As we share again this morning, we trust you for your help. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Ephesians chapter 1, we are still there. In Ephesians chapter 1, we are going to start from verse 19 this time around. It says, And what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards what you believe, according to the working of his mighty power, which he walked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him, seated him at his right hand in heavenly places, far above all principality and power, might, dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in that which is to come. And he has put all things under his feet and given to the head over all things to the church, which is his body fullness of him who feels all in all let's go back to 19 and share together he was talking about what the spirit of wisdom and revelation will enable us to enjoy or to partake in or to benefit from so he now began to give examples of them a couple of examples he gave even though there are a lot lot more than that and the one we are on right now is what is the exceeding greatness of his power or what is his exceeding great power towards those of us who believe according to the working of that same mighty power with the one he used to raise Christ from the dead and set him at his right hand in heavenly places far above all principality, power, might and dominion and every name that is named. Hallelujah. The long and short of, of what he's saying here is this. The same power by which he raised Jesus Christ is at work in us. Let's try to describe that power a little bit. When a power is able to raise somebody from the lowest possible to the highest possible, then that power must be fantastic, must be really, really great. The Bible says Jesus died and he said to the thief, you are going to be with, with me today in paradise. And we understand that the Bible says later in Ephesians that he descended first before ascending. So when he says you'll be with me in paradise and he descended for us, he went to the bottomless pit. He went down, 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 down. And it's from that down, 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 down that God raised him to up, 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 <laughs> to sit together with himself. Hallelujah. So that power must be great. The power that lifts you from the minimum to the maximum, from the lowest to the highest possible, that power must be fantastic. Hallelujah. It is that same power that is at work in us to lift us. Hallelujah. In whatever situation you find yourself, the power to lift is in there for us. Always. The Bible says that this, this power is always working towards those of us who believe. The power of God lifts you, elevates you, promotes you, um, catapults you, if you like. But it's for those who know it and believe it. Amen. And that's why I'm emphasizing this, because that's what he used. And he used the Bible. He talks about far above all principality and power and might and dominion. Maybe I should just mention in passing here, this is one of the examples where it shows that the principality and the power, they are about the mid-range, if you like, or slightly below average of the powers of the devil. I mean, the spirits that work with Satan. But some people think, when, the moment they hear principality and power, they think that is the maximum. That's the biggest, you know. If you look at this one, it started from the lowest and went on to uh, uh, might, dominion. Some other part of the Bible refer to it as princes, you know, and all. So they have cadres, and this principality and power, they are, according to the Roman establishment of that time, they, are, they were above, slightly below the magistrates. You know, so also in the spirit realm, just imagine this power slightly below 
um, I don't know who will be the equivalent of magistrate now. <laughs> Praise the Lord, you know, um, in the spirit realm. And so when you hear principality and power, don't be, begin to behave as if, oh no, Satan, senior brother has arrived, you know, to torment you. That's not the case. It's just a, a couple of uh, uh, servants of the devil that are doing things around and deceiving people. One big thing about Satan and all his uh, spirits working with him is deception. They like to create a wrong impression. They like to make themselves feel bigger than they really are. And that's what Satan has done to the world. That's why we keep hearing people say he has power, he doesn't have salvation. He has none of the two. God help us in Jesus' mighty name. And then we to talk about every name that is named, not only in this age, but in that which is to come. He's talking about the power. That same power is the power not only that lifted Jesus, but gave him a name. Hallelujah. A name that is above every name. And, you know, we all, we all say it all the time. I pray that God will actually reveal it to us and make it become a part of us so that we may run our lives by it and then we find it being fulfilled in our lives. And has put all things under his feet and given him to be head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him that fills all in all. This is an amazing statement about the church. I pray that the church will 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 see herself the way god sees her i pray that the church will occupy the position god has really truly placed her but many times you see the church behaving as if we are subservient you know to government and to politicians you know at times i see my friends they are so eager to snap a picture with the governor <laughs> you know what the bible says here it says the church the body of christ is the fullness of christ and it feels all in all the church when you know you are part of the church, you know you are a big person. When you describe the church, you know we are big people. We are a big body. And we, we are above and beyond some of the things we run after. And we bring ourselves down to their level and all. The great uh, Billy Graham, he prays for every single U.S. president. They will always invite him. Soon after they get sworn in, they will have breakfast with him. He will pray for them and wish them well. You know, and all. Eventually, somebody went to him and asked him, every president asks you to come and pray. Why don't you run and be president yourself? He says, but why should I come lower? That was his response. May God open our understanding and make us know who we are the way God looks at us. Have a wonderful morning. But before you go, please remember to like this. Remember to share it because that's what God wants you to do actually. Share as much as possible. The more you share, the more you remember some of these things in here. Also, drop at our, drop your comments in the comment section and subscribe. Share with others. Ask them to subscribe as well. It's all the better for this particular channel. And remember, press that notification bell if you have not yet done so. And each time our videos come up, you will be reminded. Have a wonderful day one more time.